Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm a little bit confused of internet kind of a buddy that I haven't heard from for a long time, just left him a message. For an outline pen tool colors on Max 5 version, it looks like the colors are not the same as my document palette. How do I know and how to where to change the color palette that the pen tool uses? Well, your pen tool is right here. All you have to do is double click on it and go to graphic and say okay. And then this is your color palette. If you're a laser engraver, you use RGB. If you're a printer, you use CMYK. But if you want to turn them into your document palettes, you go right here in document palettes and there's your pen. So if you want to draw in that red, which is the same red that I have over there, but it's in your document palette. Just click on it and say yes. And then when you draw, it's going to draw in that red. Let's go back and let's change that. Okay, with nothing selected as a key, because if you have something selected, it's just going to change that box. So with nothing selected, we're going to go back to document palettes and we're going to make it that green. Now, every time I draw something with an art, uh, uh, rectangle ellipse or anything or a line, it's going to draw it in green, which isn't very good because you can't see it, but you can always change it just by right clicking and make it red. And just while we're here, the same thing, if you want to draw and I don't, I'm using somebody else's page in millimeters. I like if you draw in points and you want to draw everything in 10 points, let's see, we had it selected. So it's going to change that. So with nothing selected, double click on your pen tool. I'm back to red and use the document palette because it's the same. But then I'm going to go and I'm going to say, I want to make everything eight points. So now when I draw, it's going to be red and it's going to be eight points. That's how you change it. I don't even have my document palette turned on anymore. I had to turn mine on and make up some colors. But it doesn't matter where you get the color from. If this black is the same as that black. If you're using, you know, you can, go, you can go here and open up any palette you want. You know, if you want, um, well, you should be able to add a palette. Um, Maybe because I've been playing with it. Well, that ought to work right there. How do you, well, always the best way to go to tools uh, or go to Windows color palettes. And you can have two palettes open. See, I've got my doc document palette open. I'm going to turn it off and it's gone. Now we're going to go back to Windows, Color Palettes, go to Palettes. Maybe I was just confused. And you could, I've got RGB, but I could have CMYK open too. I could have two color palettes. Like this one is my RGB, this is my CMYK. So I could take this box and I could fill it in with CMYK blue, but I could take that one and fill it in with RGB blue. I hope that's what he was asking. If not, he'll get back to me. Thank you for watching.